Right, so on to the last game of the first round, where we'll be looking at Fire 101 Hawk Gaming. Or Firehawk 101 game, I keep saying the other way around. Against one of the scrubbly guys, Jordan or Jordy. Uh, let's go and have a look what their matchup's like. It starts off, it looks like Jordan's playing a Dark Magician deck using Apprentice Illusion Magician. Please don't uh, give me replay errors, that would be quite annoying. And Fire 101 Hawk Gaming is playing a UA deck, so that's quite interesting. Uh, UA is one of the lower tier decks, so it's good that he's actually taking on the challenge to see how he does with this deck. Uh, oh, Ghost Ogre on the tunnel, so clears the whole field. And uh, I like how uh, Jordan's playing Sorcerer of Dark Magic and he actually summoned it. Uh, I think this is the guy that negates trap cards. Trap cards are activated, you can negate the activation, destroy it. Yep, and that is not uh, once per turn, so it's just anti trap card, that guy. Alright, so it looks like. Uh, Fire one on one games doing some crazy UA plays where he pops the back row using Dreadnought Dunker and it pops Starlight Road, which unfortunately wasn't ready to be used yet during uh, the time when um, Ghost Ogre was used. And looks like uh, Fire one on one Hawk's got the upper hand in this duel with like five guards, three monsters on the field, but uh, not, not yet killing his opponent. And Jordan not surrendering as he sets uh, a mystery back row. It could be like a drowning mirror force. That's why, oh, it doesn't matter. Twin Twister kills the card anyway. UA Stadium and Fire One Walks go is going for the overkill hit using uh, Playmaker, which makes him lose attack and gives the attack to the, uh, the goalkeeper. So the goalkeeper ends up winning the game for him. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so this time Jordan's starting with a much better hand actually. With a circle, so you can control the field. And duality is into a Raigeki. Chocolate Magician card pitching the Dark Magician, and I believe he's got Navigation and Illusion Magic set up here. And there's a Strike as well, which is pretty good. And Fire One Walks doesn't have that much uh, monsters. Uh, it didn't open the um, all important midfielder. And I think I see kind of brick with the free field spells you can see here. But uh, he's got Ghost Ogre though to negate uh, the circle from resolving. By destroying it. And he's got a cool tech here which is Spiritual Swords Revealing Light. Which is nice. But the Red Eyes. Flare Metal Dragon is going to inflict so much damage actually here. Let's see how long it will take uh, Firehawk to play around the card. And use Navigation to negate the Field Spell. Uh, but he's still got, as I said, he's got three Field Spells so he's, he's totally fine with the negation there. But that means you can take, take him more damage from the Red Eyes. But if there you go, he finally plays around the card as he destroys the three, two cards, two of the biggest monsters on uh, Jordy's side of the field. But from the earlier duality, he used the Raigeki and summons his second monster, which is Chocolate. And he's got a Ghost Ash and Ash Blossom ready to stop the field spell as well for this turn, so he's quite well armed to uh, stop the opponent. Who unfortunately, he doesn't have any more monsters in his hand, like a UA monster to summon. Only a Ghost Ogre, which is not useful in this situation. So that's 1-1 one, one so far. This first game actually in the first round that goes into the third game. Let's go to that then. And to this final game. So, uh, UA guy is starting first and he opens no monsters that he can summon. Except Ghost Ogre, which is not a useful card in this situation. And this guy and Jordan opens a uh, Solemn Strike, a Bottomless and Chocolate Magician Girl with a circle ready. Alright, so it's been nothing to summon, he just used a Twin Twister. And now Jordan can set up using. Oh, that was strange. I don't think you should ghost over that. Uh, it'd be quite more useful on the Circle or the Eternal Soul. But uh, it destroys the Rod, which is. Uh, well, that Shadow Imprisoning Mirror is not going to be useful for now, as uh, there's no more. Um, there's no more Rods on the field. And. Uh, with no monsters, the UA play a brick quite hardly, actually. And Red Eyes, oh, the Flare Metal Dragon, solidifying the game because uh, he's on 200 life points. So if he tries to do anything other than compose the Red Eyes or something, uh, it's over. Uh, which is this. So yeah, that's it. That was quite a good play from Jordan, summoning that to solidify the game. So yeah, that is it. Jordan's through to the second round for this one. So that's the final uh, game of the first round. Let's go and see the summary of the next uh, round. Right, since the first game where Finn was playing Dynamis, he won with that deck. And he's playing against another Dynamis player, which is Destroyer 2 Trainer. While Joshua, who uh, had there was like an error on their replay, unfortunately, I believe he was playing uh, Phantasm Spiral. He'll be playing against another Dark Magician player, who is Jordan, who we just watched 
win the game against UA. So yeah, that is the second round. Let's go and watch the next bit. It'll be Finn versus Troy, two trainers. So it'll be a Dynamis mirror match. Watch that on the next video. In a bit.